Yo, yo, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, Street Coder Nate, and today we are talking about operators. So, what are operators? Operators in computer science, well, there are two type of operator, like general base operators. I usually like to call them like the logical operators and then the mathematical operators. So, actually, first we're going to take a look at the mathematical operators and um, get into it. So, here we go. So you can think about the mathematical operators just like regular math, for real, for real. So we got plus, we got minus, we got times, and we got division. And then there's one more called modulus. You might have saw this, you might have thought this was division, but this one is gonna be division. And this is gonna be modulus, and we're gonna get to that one soon. Mod U plus, okay, okay. So what are, what, are, what are these pertaining to? Well, remember in the last video, I was telling you that operators take uh, two values, one on the left, then you got your operator, then one on the right, and then it returns true, false. It returns Boolean. I'm going to say bool for short. Cool. All right, so what are the values? Well, first, let's declare some values. So let's go, let, um, let's get some numbers. Let number one, num one equal five, and let num two equal 10 or something. Okay, so we're gonna say num one is gonna be value one on the left-hand side, and num two is gonna be the value two on the right-hand side. So we got these operators right here. Oh, wait, my bad, I said it was gonna return bool. Well, mathematical operators, the logical operators return bool. Mathematical operators return uh, the math value. Value. So we can replace this operator, let's say, with a plus. What is that going to do? Come on, y'all know now. It's going to take, well, we're going to call on five. Remember that when we say the name like that, that's calling it. And so when we call it, it goes and retrieves the data for it. So this is going to say five, and then we're going to take plus and num two, which 10, and this is going to give us our result of 15, right? Cool. That's what this operator allowed us to do. The minus one would get us a result of negative five. The times one would get us a result of 50. Uh, the division one would get us a result of point two, uh, point two. <clears throat> in JavaScript. Um, did I, no, 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 point five, my bad. Point five in JavaScript. And then the modulus. So what is the modulus? So uh, <clears throat> if I was to do seven divided by five, I would get one with a remainder of two. The remainder value is the modulus. So if I said seven mod five, I would get back two. If I did five mod seven, I get back five. Five divided by seven is zero with a remainder of five. So the modulus would be five. So that's what modulus is. So if I did five here, five mod 10, that will result in five because that's zero with five remaining. So those are your mathematical operators. Not too bad, right? Cool. Well, we can move on. Cover that in less than four minutes. Cool. Now we have our logical operators. And for the logical operators, you kind of have to think, once again, it's the same thing. You got val Let's do let num1 again, num1 equal 5, let num2 equal 7, All right? Cool. So you end each line statement with a semicolon at the end like that to say that this statement is over. Now, <clears throat> we have these things called logical operators. And so these operators... These operators tell us if something is equal, not equal, right? And so how do we say equal in JavaScript? Well, we could say equal, 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 and this stands for equals, like five equals five. And then we say not equal five. Five does not equal 10. And so how will we write that? 
uh, and all of these statements come out to a Boolean value. They return a Boolean. The last time those statements, or uh, in the mathematical statements, these returned a, a math value or uh, like a number value, right? The math statements did. Well, these logical uh, statements gonna return a logical value, and logic we know only has two values, zero and one, true or false. So, and if you think about it, equal, not equal, you're taking two different things, and you're asking if they're equal or not. It's true or false. Okay, so let's do that with num1. We say num1 equal, equal, equal uh, num2. So you can read this as, I sometimes read this as, does num1 equal num2? And the result would be false. So this statement in itself is false comes out to be false. False because five and seven aren't equal. But if I say num one doesn't equal num two, well then that's a true statement. What if I say num one, I'm about to mess you up right here, I'm about to combine some things. Num one plus num two equals 12. Equal, equal 12. What would this turn out to? Right, true. Because you take num1, which is 5, you add that to num2, which is 7, and obviously 5 plus 7 equal equal 12. Cool. True. So you can start seeing how you can combine the math ones with the logic ones and get a even more complicated logical statement that you could communicate with the computer. And so at the end of the day, man, that's pretty much what it is. But also, not only can we combine, my bad, could we combine these, we could also combine full statements. So I can take this statement and combine it with this statement here and have a more complex statement. So let's say um, num1 doesn't equal uh, num2, I'm gonna put parentheses right here, um, and, and the way we say and is like, and, it's the double ampersand, the double ampersand. So num1 doesn't equal num2, and num1 plus num2 equal, equal, equal 12. So this says, so this statement, well, the way that the computer will read this, it says num1 doesn't equal num2. Well, it goes check num1, 5, 7, and it says doesn't equal. Okay, that's true. So it says true here, and then it says, oh, I got an and. I got to do this and as well. So we got true and, and then it does, and then it evaluates this statement. So 5 plus 7 is 12 and equal equal 12 oh yeah that's true too so it says true and true is true so then this whole statement will evaluate out to true and so this is this this is honestly the base this is where decision making all of this stuff right there that's the that's the that's the that's the computer science when people talk about the math that they scared of and all of that that's that stuff right here so if you could take some time to really get this logic down because that's all it is is this logic and as you saw it, it builds off very simple but as you start mixing numbers with strings with objects and you mix in it with logic and you're combining it with ands and not only can you combine it with and you can combine it with or so you could say uh you could have said uh num and at the end you could say this or this and now you got a decisions to make so this is really how we we don't we we got to a point where we can really start communicating complicated things to the computer and it can evaluate true or false so now that it can evaluate true or false we can like i said communicate but just because we can communicate doesn't mean that the computer can pretty much communicate back to us like it, it will process what we're communicating but it won't do nothing further like it won't make a decision
if I like just because I say just because I say is uh, uh, num one is less than num two, uh, and the computer says true. Like, what if I wanted the computer to do something because num one was less than num two? So this I would that's basically a condition I just gave it. This statement is if num one is less than num two, then I need you to do something. And so in this video, we were able to learn how we can make these logical statements, um, logical statements that come out to true or false. Now in the next video, we're gonna take what we just learned here and build on top of it and add conditionals. And the conditionals will help us make decisions. If this is true, do this, else do this, right? Cool. I'll see you in that video. And like always, follow my follow your boy because you know I'm tapped in. I'm gonna keep on going. So follow me on the ground. Drop the subscribe, the like, the in the comments, and I'm gonna get back with y'all. See you on the next video. Peace.